this is a better version of my old review of the Stinger P9 Airsoft Pistol. I'm trying to do nothing fancy categories, trying to be good. Um, like his videos, which are, in my opinion, really good review videos. So nothing fancy if you're watching this, you're awesome, man. And, um, big shout out to my friend Devin. Thanks for, um, supporting me in these videos. Thanks for watching the videos. Um, my brother has a Umarax also, and he will be making a video of it. He originally thought it was a piece of crap, but now he's really liking it. He's really digging it. Um, he likes it now. Okay, there probably have to be two parts to this. Okay, first of all, the weight is 10 ounces. Scaled. 10 ounces is extremely good for an airsoft pistol. Um, by the way, the safety check this. Lock it back, which I'll get to in a minute. Chamber is empty. But just like nothing fancy, point in the safe direction. Mag is empty. Um, we'll be doing some shooting later, but it's late tonight, so. The weight is 10 ounces, which is really good for a pistol. Um, I do not like carrying heavy weight pistols or any kind of gun. Um, don't like carrying heavy weight pistols. This is a 10 ounce, it said right in the manual, and I laid it on scale. 10 ounces. Um, the weight is really good. I like carrying this gun on the field. I have not carried it on the field because I just got it today, but I plan to be. It is a spring operated too. Um, firepower. It holds 90 bullets in the reservoir, um, and 12 in the front. This is, that's what's said in the manual. This is a safe direction. Um, yeah, firepower is really good. Also saying that you don't have to reload each 12 shots, um, which is really nice. And, what you do is, what you want to do is to um, pull the spring down in the front of the magazine. Sorry, my thumbs are slippery. I just ate greasy food. Actually, I didn't. Just don't. I don't have fingernails. I I cut my all right and shake it up, but I'm not gonna do that right now because um I just got boobies in the reservoir. Um, no. Yeah, so the firepower is extremely good on the P9, and, um, you need a lot of firepower when you're carrying a pistol in the war. Um, if you're carrying this pistol, it's got great firepower. Definitely recommend. What about durability and reliability? Um, these are also his categories. Durability is extremely good. It the um, gun is made out of really, it's made out of ABS plastic, everything except for the springs, of course. And um, it's really good plastic, though, and it feels really nice. Finger off the trigger guard. I don't keep my guns in safety. Um, I, that's just the way I was trained to do it. And it locks back, and it's got an open breech, open ejection port. Dang it. My brother keeps knocking this over. Okay. So, reliability. This, um, gun, it did have a failure to feed on me one time. Failure. Um, the bullet, the side locked back, and there were still bullets in it, and the side release was not up. It was down, where it should not be locking. Um, it just stayed back until I had to recock, like, and it, after
after I did this, it was back. I pulled it back a little further than it locked and it fixed. Very fast clear. It was um a double load. So it, it didn't quite double load and it's reliability is very good. Um, I just got this gun today. It just won malfunction, and I think it was my fault. I think I um I don't know. I think it was my fault somehow though, because I've loved this gun. Um, I got camouflaged um because we were going out on the field so i decided why not have camo and i don't recommend you doing this i recommend you um doing this and putting the side forward with your hand even though it's cooler just letting it fly i like to do this to make sure because it is a plastic weapon I'm not saying it's not durable but it is a plastic weapon and if you do that too much I'm just afraid of it um now accuracy this gun is extremely accurate um I think it's a fixed stop up I'm pretty sure of that it's extremely accurate um you can hit a target from a pretty good wa ways um extremely accurate I love this gun's accuracy finger off the trigger guard at all times unless we're shooting um, make sure you keep your ha fingers and hands out of the open breach do not put it in there to check the chamber like you would in reveal guns to check your little pinky can't do that anyway as the chamber is small and uh... <laughs> Now one thing that this gun did not have that the um, Umarax also did, if my brother would please let me see the Umarax Wolfer, um, as you'll see, not in here, but on the Umarax Wolfer, second, and the sights are really good on the gun, the P9. On the Umarax Walter, there's a thing on the back, and when the gun is cocked, not when there's bullets in it, but when the gun is cocked, the, um, there will be a red button, and when it is not cocked, second, and I want to talk about the trigger with this gun in a second. This will be a separate video, a separate video, but, um, this gun, Another thing that I loved about this gun compared to this, this one you can disassemble. It's meant to. It's got the things just where the real Walther would have it. Just disassemble it right quick. Um, you can even take the recoil spring out on this gun. There will probably, there will have to be a second part to this. Um, you just press these down. Seconds these down and cock it put it forward and then draw fire and there you go you can take the recoil spring out but it's hard to get back in not really um well, it looks like I'm gonna have to anyway because it just fell out <laughs> um sorry I'm off camera now I'm on um, I saw all the guns that they had at the store that I went to. I'm not gonna name names, cause, and it's not Walmart. But, um, fine. Um, it's not Walmart. Dick Sporting Goods. <laughs> yeah, Dick Sporting Goods, um, they sell this gun. Um, sorry, y'all. And then my brother went to Kmart and got this Umarax. No, it was at the Sports Authority. Yeah. So, then just put this back on with the thing, thing still facing down. And this gun is safe. And I'll see you guys in the second part of this video. See you guys later.